So if you don't know, yeah, I'm Matt Burton and I've built a DIY skate park under a bridge. It's took eight years to build, but it's finally finished. And now it's finished, Chris jokingly said, why don't we build a full pipe? I haven't been able to stop thinking about it for like the past year. This is where this video is going. I'm gonna build the full pipe. What I'm standing on right now is the very first bit of concrete I ever did. And now moving on eight years later, we've got all this. So these are like separate days, obviously. So this would be one day, do another weekend where we did this, this. Everything was just like little bit by little bit. So I've been into DIY building ever since I was a kid. My dad used to take me to Woburn Trails and I'd go there and just be amazed with like, it was built with a shovel. like. Surely you had a digger here, and they're like, nah. It's crazy, I couldn't believe man had done it with a shovel. That original site, which took eight years to build, I finished it in May 2020 with my mate Tommy. I thought I was done with it, told my missus and my kids I'm finished with the spot. But then I got this message, lots of messages from this kid, Harry, scooter kid, yeah? And he was kept on messaging me, asking how I do it. He wants to start a new section this side. So then I put out on my Instagram that me and this kid, Harry, was concrete in this side. And then that's when Chris and Harry started messaging me, saying they want to get involved. I was like, yeah, boys, come down. And I was like, can we build some rails? You know, can we make it more of a street section? And I was like, yeah, definitely, that's what, that's what we want. But within a day, we had this side pretty much done. just see us pour that last section yeah and that's that's every square inch of underneath the bridge done everything's concrete we've got no more space it's like oh what are we going to build next let's build a full pipe chris joked and then i came down here one morning and it was all fenced off and i couldn't get in and i was like what's going on and i called over a worker i could see people working in the building i was like what's going on and he was like oh this building's got a new owner and he's not happy with kids coming into his car park. They've like spray painted on the building, they've smashed a window. That dude was not happy. I was like, oh bruv, man, that's not me. Like, yeah, I built this skate park, but I like, don't want any trouble and I'm not trouble. And, and he respected that and he was like, yeah, cool, but we're gonna put a fence all the way around the car parks to stop people coming in. I was like, oh, please don't lie. I've got one more build to do. And then, yeah, then you can put the fence up. He's like, all right, okay. He said, how long do you need? Three weeks, maybe? Like, thinking I could do it in three weekends. And he's like, yeah, all right. After three weeks, we'll put a fence up. The pressure's on. I'm gonna cut the wood, show you the face of what this monster's gonna look like. 
So what I'm gonna go for is a six and a half foot transition. Double that, that makes 13 foot. So six and a half foot, get to vert, and another six. Like, hopefully it should be good. This a ticket, talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Man, this a ticket, talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Man, this a ticket, talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Finally got all the wood out of my garden, brought it all down here, and we started the build. Check it out, look what I've got in the van. All this wood. I did the bottom half first and like it was really technical because if I don't get that right then the top half won't be right and there'll be like a lip and that so it's like quite technical man like it really did fucking it really fried my brain for weeks we're gonna have to leave like depending on how thick we're gonna make it the concrete it's 100 mil obviously in the middle here and then because the concrete goes over the top of this No one understood how this was gonna work. They didn't have the vision, which I've had in my head for ages. My vision was, you know, like I was gonna build the mold inside of it and it was just all gonna connect and be lovely, yeah? I made a big mistake. I made the stupid decision of building the mold outside of the half pipe, you know? The mistake, yeah, is all Chris's fault. I, bl I blame Chris, yeah, because he didn't understand how it was gonna work. And I had to show him, like, look, this is what we're gonna do, yeah, this is the mold. And then he's like, oh yeah, I get it now. Thank you. 
And then we're like, all right, so now we've got to move it into place. We try lifting it, I'm like, oh my God, this is heavy. Didn't anticipate of how heavy it was going to be. We had like one in each corner, picked it up, started moving it over, and then <laughs> what a stupid mistake. Didn't think about the beam. That bloody beam, man. I built it perfect to fit under the roof, but didn't think about the beam. We got stuck. Everyone was pushing, lifting. It weren't fitting. Chris was like, let's just cut the bottom off. I was like, yeah, sure. And then Chris is just like, Rrr! cutting all off. Next thing you know, bits are coming off everywhere. That was about 100 quid, if not more. It finally fits, and then everyone's knackered, you know, because of all that lifting. Everyone's like, yeah, that's it, it's in. And I'm like, nah, it's not. We've still got to go up 100 mil. And then it goes up a little bit, but it doesn't go up high enough. Everyone's knackered, like no one wants to lift it again. So we just call it a day. I'm like, all right, I'll come back down and I'll try and sort it out. I came back down the following weekend with my mate Ben from Woburn. We spent all day Saturday trying to get into place and we couldn't do it. And then Ben said, like, let's just take it apart and rebuild it. So yeah, we did. We took it all apart. We tried doing it again, lifting it up and screwing it all in. It was just too heavy and it would just flop and just, you know, just wouldn't sit in the right place. Ben he goes, why don't we just get a ratchet strap and tie it to the, the fencing of the bridge and pull it up? And I was like, Ben. Thank you, you're a genius. Went to b &Q, got a ratchet strap, tied it to the bridge, ratchet strapped it up, and then within like a minute, it was in place. And like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, yes! After 10 hours of trying to get it into place, it got it in place in a minute, man. And everyone was like, how's the uh, rebar gonna work? Me, Harry and Chris, yeah, we was here till one in the morning, getting that, finishing that, getting it all smooth. So we left the mold on for three weeks to dry, yeah. We could have probably took the mold down after a couple of days, but we just thought we'd leave it on there for a few weeks. The day came to take it off and it was time to undo the ratchet strap, which was by far one of the scariest things. I had to stand underneath this mold with like three ton above me and undo it took the ratchet strap off and then it was like, yes, it's held, like it's standing. And shout out to Chris for that one, because I said like we should unscrew all the noggins and then let it fall down. But Chris said, nah, let's just keep it all together. And it actually came off really easy after that. We just got a couple of crowbars, wiggled it out and it just all fell down. And then yeah, we just smashed up all the wood. And yeah, it was just looking at it like, oh my God, perfect. Like it came out really well. And Chris was like, are you going to do it? I was like, yeah, I've got to, got to try it. I knew when I was dropping in that time, I'm going to take a slam. But I'm just going to like see what it feels like and what it looks like. So I, I went slow into it. I thought, you know, maybe I could cheat and do it like a berm. But yeah, that didn't work. Watch my left foot. It goes on the curb of like that drain. I think I might have broke it. Hope not. So yeah, we did the last little feature, the berm at the back. I think it's come out real smart. We was always restricted of where this thing could go because there was a pipe here. And then as we was building this half pipe, we kept on taking mud away. And then we unearthed this manhole cover, I think it is. My foot was still really hurting, yeah, but I wanted to get it done. I don't usually pad up, but for this I am. I had all the boys around me and I was like, all right, let's get it. I sort of knew what to do then, like, like don't go slow obviously don't try like a berm just try and look back at it and that's what i did i thought i had it i got upside down i just felt weightless because i looked back my front wheel lifted up and that's when i like, lifted my head back just came off and it's shit fast and loose Whoa. Whoa. you all right yeah my face good? Yeah. Teeth in. 
Oh. No? A it's a little bit of scrape the gum. We took it down about four weeks ago now, and it's just been on my mind ever since. Can you, can you imagine what my brain's been doing? Oh, I just need to get it done. Oh, mate, I fucking, I nearly had it. It's twice a stack now, man. Suck. Ah. This, yeah, was the most technical part of the build. We've got this wood here, but I didn't want it sticking out under here. We didn't want a bit of wood here, so I had to guess how much concrete was going to put over the top, which, you know, I estimated about 100 mil of concrete. Um, but then obviously I had to set this back. Getting this right was crucial, man. Otherwise we'd have had like a lip or, you know, a curb pretty much. The same again on this side, like, it just had to be perfect. Otherwise it wouldn't have been overall. It would have been like 50 peed. That little corner bit, I should have concreted that like a ramp. Hopefully this week I'm gonna get some concrete from work and fill this bit in. After every time we did concrete, yeah, I'd come back down that night to check it was okay and maybe slap it in and touch it up. The last pour I did, I didn't do that. And kids, yeah, they stepped on it. I came back down the next morning with my little boy and we tried fixing it, but it was too late. Pretty much after every concrete I do, someone would write their name in it or something or put their foot in it. But I'd always come back and I'd make it smooth again. But then this last one, I didn't do that. So congratulations to whoever you were. The reason for the spikes is hopefully stop kids climbing on it and jumping on it. You know, it's strong. That's pretty thick, man. Hopefully this ivy, all grows and entangles all around this. Look at the grass. Hopefully when the cats will see this, they'll think it's a smart job and they won't knock it down. Fingers crossed. So scared it weren't gonna work. Imagine that, all that hard work and money, and it didn't work, but it works. It's actually quite easy. You just gotta get your head around it. Do you remember me saying about the boss man gonna put a fence up? Well, he has, as you can see. It's sort of good, it's sort of bad. My mind can now stop and rest. Like, this has been on my mind for so long. I'm so stoked it's finished. And like, you've gotta come down and try it. Like, get your mates, come down. Like, you don't have to do it, obviously. Come down, ride the rails, do the jump volcano. But yeah, man, it's, it's here now. It's here for a long time, hopefully. You! Peace.
Ride until I get normal. Shout out to the human or extraterrestrial who invented the wheel. Wearing a nose hair, those unseen. So, rat. Little rat down there.